apparently from what Jim Christian getting in the ring. From what I Jim Christian stormed out of the locker room that they had in the back. We heard a lot of yell and loud yelling and all that, and Jim stormed out, and Eagle had no idea what was going on. Apparently, Jim and Chase were still arguing in the back. I see now Eagle is yelling at referee D. Edwards. And here we have a little bit of uh, oppositism from what happened with Jim Christian and Chase Rawlings earlier against NES. Derek Frazier now making fun of Eagle because he's so tall. And there we see Eagle taking the arm of Derek Frazier, taking control early off. Eagle, a big, big man. As long as he keeps this match slow and at his pace, he should have no problem here. You see that is uh, Derek Frazier kicks it up a level. It's about to jump up a notch. Yeah, it really does look like it might. Well, she can't take anything away from Derek Frazier. He's been in, uh, in the business for quite a long time. He knows his way around the ring. Remember, as stated earlier, Derek Frazier, former two-time cruiserweight champion, former tag team champion, and former two-time heavyweight champion. Eagle with a clothesline to the face. Frazier is down. Back up. Ducks under a clothesline. Oh, and a forearm to Eagle. Along with Eagle, Eagle also former tag champion and heavyweight champion. Beautiful roundhouse kick right to Eagle's face. Knocks him out of the ring. Eagle's on the outside. Actually, if you rewind about three years, Eagle was feuding with Derek Frazier, and Derek Frazier was feuding with Jim Christian. That's available on EWA Double Shot. Oh, he oh. Oh. Right into Eagle. Nice suicide dive through the middle rope. Oh, and Derek Frazier takes out Christian as well. Y you know, I, I can't disagree with uh, what he did right there because I think everybody in the locker room would like to take a swing at Jim Christian. And you know, as long as he's standing and he's on the outside of that ring, this is not going to be a fair match. I think Derek Frazier was trying to take Jim Christian out of the picture right there. Take him out of the picture? Yes. Why would he want to take him out of the picture? It's something I heard earlier and it sounded like a good quote. Oh! oh hard boot to the face. That's, I remember that. That uh, self-proclaimed hardest artist in, in Maryland, he said it. Looking guy. You know, he did kind of look like Britney Spears with that bleach blonde hair. Except he wasn't diabetic yet. Yes. You we see Eagle in control right now over the former EWA heavyweight champion Derek Frazier. A clubbing blow to the back of Frazier. You gotta wonder if Derek Frazier can get Eagle in the impact driver. Ooh, sure he can. He's got beautiful pants. Eagle choking Frazier in the corner. Referee D. Edwards telling him, but like, oh, and there's Christian. I guess he found his way back up to his feet. This is exactly what I was talking about. Frazier's not going to get a fair match here. There's no way. Same thing happened at EWA Autumn again when Chase Rawlings wrestled Derek Frazier. Of course, Rawlings faking a knee injury, so he wanted to have to wrestle Derek. And our fans need to remember that although Eagle is the larger person in this match and the more powerful, he is no stranger to hitting that top rope a couple times his own self. And we see Eagle, he thinks that should have been a three count. Telling the referee, Derek Frazier fighting back some blows to the stomach. Oh, and Eagle just rakes the eyes. You see Eagle's just stalking him, coming up behind him. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we still have a couple more. Ooh, a big chop. We have a couple more matches coming this evening, including the main event which is going to be the former EWA Tag Team Champions, Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma, versus the best around. Ooh, Derek Frazier kick. Oh, and a follow-up kick. Eagles down. Drop kick to the head of Eagle. Derek Frazier's back, back in control. Getting a little bit of energy. Goes for the cover. How many was that, Bobby? I only looked like one and a half to me. Of course, Frazier didn't put a whole lot of body weight on top of Eagle. Not that his body weight would have helped much. 
course, the people at home have to ask themselves, did Chase Rawlings consult with Eagle before this match? Tell them what to look out for because Derek Frazier did wrestle Chase last month. Oh, went for a frog splash off the middle rope, and Eagle moved out of the way. Looks like Frazier saw him move, tried to catch himself, oh. but he didn't. Did Eagle just choke slam him? I have never seen Eagle choke slam anyone before. My goodness. Looks like for some reason the Christ all the Christian Academy members have been upping their game lately. Perhaps perhaps it's because Chase Rawlings is currently the only one with gold. He could have had silver and gold tonight if it wasn't for his tag team partner, Jim Christian, hitting him with a steel chair earlier on tonight. Exactly. Right now, Eagle back in control. As I was starting to say, the main event tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the best around versus former EWA Tag Team Champions, Ryan McBride and Teddy Stigma, and you, the fans, are going to pick the stipulation. Don't forget that the best around cost McBride and Stigma the Tag Team Championship about two months ago against NES. Is it Derek Frazier to the middle? Turns around with a kick to the face on Eagle. Actually, I think he hopped from the middle to the top. And then did that spinning kick to the face. Did he get to the top? I didn't see a second leap, but you could be right. Frazier doing exactly what he has to and using those educated feet to his advantage. Because obviously the size goes to Eagle. But Frazier, even after hitting that, still can't get up to, from the mat first. You have to wonder how much damage he's Eagle with a punch and Derek returns. Oh, Frazier returns again. Eagle with a shot. Frazier, oh, Frazier takes Eagle off those big legs of his. It's like Frazier's bringing Eagle to his feet. Kick to the stomach. Another kick. Oh, a spinning kick to the face. It doesn't matter how big you are. You take a couple shots to the head with feet like that and you are gonna go down, without a doubt. See, the, the crowd is getting behind Derek Frazier. Goes for a cross body, Eagle catch it, and a hard body slam down. Eagle says that's it. Apparently a body slam, he was comfortable thinking that body slam was enough. Going for a Power bomb. Oh. oh! Nice high power bomb from Eagle. We see only a two count though. Eagle pulling out the stops. He's doing a lot more than I normally see him do. You oh, see him with a choke slam or power bomb. D. Edwards. Did he just push the ref? That could be an immediate disqualification. He's lucky he's not thrown out right now. Oh! oh. Are you, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, and no, Diamond Frazier. came from there. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. One, two. Only a two. But that, that, I don't believe it. The Wait, oh, D DJ Hyde's in the ring. Oh. Uh, Frazier staring off with DJ Hyde. Remember, Frazier had to forfeit the EWA Heavyweight Championship to DJ Hyde when he got injured. And that's when he was also fired from the academy. Wait, did DJ, DJ Hyde just, just hit punch Eagle? Eagle? If, if he was trying to hurt Frazier, why would he punch Eagle? I think what he basically did was get Derek Frazier disqualified. And then Derek moved out of the way of that spear as he took out Eagle. But he attacked his own man. To get Derek Frazier to disqualified. You're right, Kyle. I, I definitely have to question it. But what is this going to do? We've already seen some dissension in the Christian Academy earlier on tonight. You got to wonder if Eagle's going to understand. He just got punched in the face by a former Christian Academy member. But either way, your winner tonight, Eagle.
have disqualification. After Greg Exxon's ass gets done with you, I'll come down and whip your ass. <laughs>